America, I got another good one for y'all. I, I got one of these ones, America, that we've been waiting on. This is my brother, JoJo's number one player, his, his favorite player from Jack State University of all time. So as a family, we are so happy to be doing this one right here, okay? Let, let me tell y'all who I got. I have a man who hails from the hub city, Hattiesburg, Mississippi. I spent a lot of time down there. I spent four years down there, okay? Shout out to y'all down there in the hub city, okay? I have a man who played his college football at the illustrious Jackson State University. You understand me? And he didn't just play. He didn't just play. He was a player. He was one of those ones. You understand me? Because in 1995, he won SWAC, Defensive Player of the Year. Okay? I'm telling y'all I got one of these ones. You understand me? Also that year, Jack State won the SWAC. For all these folks try to act like we just doing something in the Coach Prime era, I keep telling y'all we ain't new to this, but we true to this. You feel me? Now, he wasn't on that 96 team that won a black national title. He was already gone, okay? But he laid the foundation. He was one of those cornerstones that helped build that team that went on to do that. You understand me? I have a man that after leaving JSU, he signed with numerous pro teams, including the Oilers and the Giants of the NFL and the Argonauts, the Lions, and the Eskimos of the CFL. You understand me? I have a man who's so great that he passed his greatness on down to his son, Picasso Jr., who starred at USM and also went on to the pros as well. You understand me? I have a man who's been a coach. He's a professor. He's a businessman. He's a pastor. He's a legend. I have Dr. Picasso Nelson Sr. What's going on, brother? Hey, man, I'm blessed by the best. That's the best intro I ever had in my life. I feel like I'm somebody today. <laughs> oh, you are absolutely somebody. You are man, that's classic. That's classic. Thank you, man. Thank because you. Because we, we love you and my family. I know Tiger Nation loves you. You were one of those guys that were out there doing their thing when my sister would bring me to those games as when I was yeah. a little boy. And I might not have known all of what's going on, yeah. but I know when I heard Picasso Nelson, <laughs> that, that's him on that tackle right there, okay? So yeah. we are elated to have you on, man, but we ain't going to waste no time. We're going to go ahead and get straight to what the people want, okay? So I ask everybody this. So I want to ask you as well. All right. What what influenced you to go to Jackson State University? Man, I was a big fan of JSU. I kept hearing about Lewis Tillman, Sean Gregory, and um, I went to a game, and the fans, because we know we I come from a predominantly white school at the time, and I saw the band, and I saw the ladies dancing, and I saw the party, and I went to they took me to a basketball game on my recruiting trip. And everybody had those cowboy boots and jeans. And okay. I just saw all the women. I'm like, God has called me here. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> okay. <laughs> I didn't know about no degrees or nothing, man. It would just felt like home, man. And I had some other recruiting trips. But I'm like, this is – when I went to the game, I think Jackson State playing Alcorn, it was a basketball game doing a recruiting trip. Like, this is where I, I want to be. This okay. is where I want to be. So – all right, all right. So, Coach Prime, take some of them kids over there with, with Coach Mo Williams and Tamika Reed. We're going to have the AAC rocking, okay? Take them kids to a basketball game as well, okay? We see that we got a legend through a basketball game, all right? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. All right, um, you were great, tremendous Thank at you. Jackson State. Like I told the people, swag defensive player of the year, okay? So, like, I think you might even have – Eight interceptions or something one year? Something like that? Is, yeah, I led, that I led the nation interceptions, and the year before, I led the nation in tackles at free safety. So, yeah. That's amazing. Yeah, yeah, that, that shows versatility to be able to do both of those. So, with your versatility and your greatness, your productivity, what JSU player currently reminds you of yourself? Now, I'm not familiar with the guys this year, but mm -hmm. last year, man, that, that James Houston, man, he is a football player. 
I don't get into five star and who run the 40, who can bench press. But when I saw him on the field, he has a motor. He's relentless. And I didn't play. I didn't play defensive lineman, but you can say, hey, that is a football player. He's different. Mm. And um, man, I love his 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 motor. He kind of reminded me of Dennis Robin, man. He just had a motor, man. And he gets by the lineman. And he he and he and that closing speed, you know. So I, I like his I like his heart, man. Uh, he was a football player. Shout out to Mr. Houston. That was my favorite player from last year. This year, I'm going for Mr. Miller, Mr. Aubrey Miller. Shout out, boy. But he he's been on here as well. So shout yeah, out. He to played wood. I, I seen him. Yeah, I'm familiar with his name. Yeah. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. He's good, man. He's a good. One. Now, uh, you had an opportunity to play for Coach Carson. <laughs> who they call who they call Big Daddy. Okay? Big Daddy, that's him. That's him. Yeah. You had a chance to play for him, and he had success at Jack State as well. Can can you share with us some of your fondest memories of playing for Coach Carson? Coach loved to play an aggressive defense, and that's what I love about this defense in this new era. Um, I saw the team this weekend. A lot of teams GSU have been playing lately. The defensive backs are off, and they they have a bend, don't break defense. And to me. I like to squeeze the defense and play you. And 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 that's what Coach Carson, that's the first time I've seen that since Coach Carson. Mm. And um, yeah, man, he had the blitz defense. I mean, he zone man. I mean, he he did all kinds of things, but this is what he did. Even though he had a lot of different plays, he knew where to put his players and made them successful. And okay. he knew how to dial back some on certain things. And he made it simple, man. And he just loved defense. He was a defensive mastermind. And and everybody loved him. He's always smoked them cigars and uh, <laughs> had a raspy voice. And uh, that was my dude. You talking about a good heart? But one of the funnest days. One day it was raining, and we was inside of the gym, had a little practice. And so Coach Carson, now he was not built like a, a bodybuilder. Now you know what I'm saying? Okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> and he walked out there, them old coaching pants. He had to pulled up to right about right here, right? <laughs> <laughs> okay. And them shorts, so and you know he his bill was not you know he had some tight so and a tight shirt and he should have and and everybody started whistling ooh big daddy woo you know like <laughs> I mean I can't whistle but we started whistling there he like hey, y'all go go to go to hell y'all go to hell <laughs> he was showing all his stuff I'm like big daddy don't, like don't, don't do that but that's my dude we love him to death. <laughs> That's what's up. Hey, he started what's laughing up. himself, you know what I'm saying? Well, long but, yeah. live Coach Carson, for real. He long had respect all the players. Nobody didn't match with him, and he meant business. But he was firm but fair. That's my dude. That's my dude. Well, shout out to his family. Long live Coach Carson. I um, want to ask you this. I had an opportunity to ask another JSU legend this, uh, the White Tiger, Casey T Terrio, when we had him on. Yeah, he was a good one, too. Yeah. How does the current media fanfare in this Coach Prime era compare to uh, what y'all had during your time? Because that was a successful time. Again, you swag champion, defensive player of the year. So how does the media fanfare compare? Man, when I was in college, we had a, a I had a beeper. He had to beep me. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> so we didn't have all the cell phones. I mean, you know, not 95 for us now. They were out. But if you're – Parents was not a parents of influence. You probably didn't have one. We had beepers. So, but man, things have changed. I mean, that's why we see a lot of chaos in the media today with, with all those shootings. Everybody got a device. I mean, a camera on their fingertips. So, uh, some people say the world getting worse. No, it's just it's just been the technology's gotten better. So you can capture each moment, good or bad. And I think we got the right person at the right time. If I'm not mistaken, I think Dion, his ex-wife, had a, a reality show. Mm -hmm. So you come from all that and, you know, all that, the reality shows, and the, they just push stuff out and shock factors and all that. And and so they got the right person at the right time who knows how to do this at that kind of level. And he's always been a type of, that, that, that catered to the media. And mm -hmm. so with that, uh, you're going to get recruits that way. And they're not only – Everything's been captured and pushed out in the media, but they're backing it, backing it up with winning. So mm -hmm. it, it's a great combination. But we didn't have all that technology, and you got to use it. And they're using it to the to the to the max, which is awesome. And so Jackson State, the name is getting out everywhere, and and I think it's a beautiful thing. 
but we definitely didn't have those moments. And they're going to create memories from life, good or bad. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> those memories ain't going nowhere. Uh, I heard Mike Tyson said some of his kids see some of his videos like, Dad, you said you're going to do what to somebody? Dad, you know, I know you did. He said his daughter say today, like, <laughs> and you know how Tyson before the match, he would tell the reporter, I'm going to do this to you. <laughs> yeah. Hey, he told one old boy, I'm going to eat, I'll eat your children or something. Like, what? Yeah, what? yeah. What? He wanted to do to him. Yeah, 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 that's true. That's so true. it's gonna be out there. You put it out there, but I think they're doing a good job or, or putting the right stuff out there. I know they have a structure to it, and uh, I think it's a beautiful thing for JSU. Okay, okay. Now I mentioned to the people uh that your son, Picasso Nelson Jr., also became a football star. Uh you no, know, I went to Southern Miss for my undergrad. All right, so uh, there's a connection there. Okay, so Picasso Nelson Jr. started at USM, and then he went on to the pros as well. Now, uh, some people may wonder, though, having a dad as a Jackson State legend, like, did Jackson State have a chance to get him? And what influenced him to go ahead and go to Southern Miss? Well, like, in the, during that time, you know, I, had, I got my doctor from Southern Miss, but during that time, he every kid – coming out of college, high school, you want to go SEC. Mm -hmm. I mean, LSU was big on his list, but LSU, I always told my son, choose the one that choose you. And they didn't offer him a scholarship. And then he looked at Mississippi State. They didn't offer a scholarship. Mm -hmm. Well, Southern Miss was offered him. Fedora was offering him a scholarship, or I forgot the guys of that. It wasn't Fedora, someone else. But um, that was his option. And then, you know, UAB offered – uh, Louisiana Monroe, those you know, Division One school, but it's not the SEC. And I'm like, you're in, you're in Hattiesburg. And mm -hmm. he said, Dad, I remember what you always told me: choose the one that choose you. They have reached out to me more than all the rest of them. And and he went with Southern Miss, man. And he started his freshman year, mm -hmm. first game against Mississippi State. And uh, I think Dak Prescott was a senior at the time. And so mm -hmm. it was a beautiful thing. And and he played in a position that I know I was able to show him a lot of different things for his tack. I mean, as far as you know, covering guys and all that. So he went in. He was dinning them up, man, and doing his thing. Very proud of him, man. He came and stepped up. Because when he got there, I think he was second or third string. Mm -hmm. and some kid going to do something crazy. Going to rob somebody like a week before the season. And he ended up starting oh. SEC. Yeah, some kid did something crazy. Two of them went to jail. Two defensive backs. So you just keep working and keep working and don't get discouraged. It works out for you, you know. Okay, well, well, along that same line, then you've had pro experience. Your son has pro experience, and that's what the players at Jack State want. Now, Coach Prime keeps saying most of them not going to do that. Most of them going to go into the world and be a professional in something else. But you know, when they run knocked there on that field, most of them thinking, "Okay, I'm gonna make a play. I'm gonna get the notice to try to go get that that deal." Based on y'all experiences. What advice would you give to those current players at JSU who are hoping to go pro? Man, you know, when I came out, I was ranked number one in the nation at defensive back. You know, mm. um, you know, you had Brian Dawkins at the time, Laurie Malora. I was ranked number one, tore my ankle up. And so you can have all these stats. And back then, we didn't have the trainers that, you know. Um, I tell you this right here. It, it's not you want to make it, but it's never too late. My thing, I wanted to make millions, man, to be honest with you. I want to be able to go shopping and pay my bills and have something left over. I don't want to save to go on a vacation. So I, I, what I tell those kids, go for it. If you get released, go for the next team. If you make it, humble yourself. But don't quit on football. Let them quit on you. You just keep going and 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 and, and just give your best, man. And, and it's going to work out for you. And if, if, if it don't work out for you, that means God has something better in store for you. Because I see a lot of guys that played had big contracts, man. They be asking me, can they work for me? You know what I mean? Who who was all puffed up. And if you exalt yourself, you be humble. But if you humble yourself, I mean, God would exalt you, man. So just keep plugging. And it's going to come in his season. And God's timing is perfect. Don't rush nothing because that's when you make mistakes. So, hey, go for it. Shoot for it. Do everything you can as far as percentages. You may be the talent of the year, but if you get hurt, them folks don't care nothing about you. They on to the next one. So it is what it is, you know. And so understand that and just put your trust in the Lord, man. But keep plugging. Keep plugging, man. You never know how to work out for you. But this experience that you get, you travel the world for travel the world for free. I'd have been all throughout Canada, all throughout the United States. 
I have had a great time on somebody else's dime. You know what I'm saying? So <laughs> great time on somebody else's dime. I like that. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Wouldn't trade it for the world, man. All right. Uh, and this is a question from my brother Jojo. Okay, your number one fan. He wants to know as a he know how it felt watching you with him being in the stands and seeing you down there doing your thing, intercepting all those passes and everything. That, that's what he loved. He always bringing up your picks and stuff. But he wants to know how it felt for you to be out there in the vet. The boom is playing. Everybody there, pom-poms waving. He wants to know how was that feeling for you? Because he know he felt great as a fan watching you. But how did it feel to actually be on that field and feel all that love from your people? You know, we, we used to call my, our defense in 95 the um, Rice Krispie defense. Okay. <laughs> because we snapped, crackle, and pop. And uh, <laughs> I used to lay up at night in the all season and just dream about knocking somebody out. I, I just I just wanted to do that. I don't know why I was angry or whatever, but I just wanted to. And I used to visualize myself hitting somebody in the crowd go wild. Mm -hmm. And so I've seen, seen some of my films when I hit somebody, knock their mouthpiece out or they, you know, just all different things. And I just love to hit, man. I love to, to pick the ball off. Like, this is my pass. I see DBs now, and they're like, they're going to knock the ball down. When I see the ball up, that's my ball. He was right. throwing it to me, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> <laughs> and so it felt so good to hit somebody so hard back then. It felt so good. And I had a lot of concussion. They ain't call it concussion. They just, back in the day, they call it, you got your bell rung. Uh, and it just caught up in your nose, go back in there. <laughs> you know what mm. And I know we need to correct that. But, man, it was just such a great feeling because Coach Carson made practice so hard when you got to the game. That was the easy part. Mm. That We just had to run fields and do all that. And, and so Saturday – I was going to take my frustration from all that hard work, right? Mm. And he let us rest a little bit on Thursdays and Friday. I had to go out here and just do my thing. So it, it just felt good. People respected me throughout the city. I got a lot of free things where, I mean, at during that time, it wasn't many places I can go throughout the state. People didn't know me. And I was a defensive back on Jackson State, and Rob J did a great job. He always came and interviewed me. And because um, during, during that time, I was probably the only guy on defense that can sell a complete sentence. You know, <laughs> we had some talent, but who could say a complete sentence? And we had to chop it up so much, put it on. <laughs> oh my God. Oh. I mean, we had some guy, they, I mean, in the locker room, they talk as a regular person, but man, you put a microphone in they Right. Play. It's different it's when them lights come on. Do, man. It's like, uh -huh. <laughs> And I thrived at that kind of stuff. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. Okay. So, uh, and, you know, cracking jokes. So, man, the fans loved me, man. And I remember uh, my senior year, it was senior day, and they called my name out. And the crowd just – I mean, they said some stuff. Everybody, the crowd stood up and started. My boy, Sean Gregory, he played quarterback. He was like, man, they showed you some love. That was the most gratifying thing during that time because I really hurt. I just walked out on my crutches. But uh, – that was the most gratifying thing of the love I received, the jobs I received from people knowing me from playing ball. If you be good to folks while your name is out there, when you finish playing ball, doors will open for you like no other, man. Mm -hmm. But tell your brother it felt good. And tell Joseph Ford, man, thank you for even – my wife told me that he had said something on one of your plays, on one of your films. I wouldn't mind getting a copy of that because um, that feels good to somebody show you love after all those years and – all the great players that came through there, but man, but I tell you what, it just felt good to be known as one of the outstanding players from Jackson State because there was so many in the past, so much great talent. Yeah, yeah, no doubt. You, you, you the one for him. I know you in the Jack Jack State Hall of Fame and everything. I think I left that out of the read. He's a JSU Hall of Fame with two America. Okay, so I left that out of the read. They, they, but, they felt sorry for me. They hooked me up. <laughs> oh, look at you see it right there. You see it right there. Right, Please. So, uh, but. You definitely in our Hall of Fame as well as one of those ones. When I say somebody is one of those ones, that's like you one of the ones that you, you do it in all kind of ways, you, you, your, your intensity, your knowledge, everything like that. And it's coming through. America can see that from the interview. But I can't let you get out of here without making you put it on something, okay? These right. are fun. 
Uh, usually all my guests like these. And of course, the viewers like to see what y'all have to say. All right. So first one. Okay. Like I told America, you're a businessman as well. Okay. And you have one of the most marketable names in all of Jackson State history, if not the nation. Okay. Picasso Nelson. Okay. Then you got a game that matched the marketability. Okay. And you have a gift of gab as well. All right. So <laughs> if you were playing today in this NIL era, how much do you think you could have made? Man, I'm not familiar with the NIL, but I'm sure it's money. I know that. Um, yeah. Well, basically, but, you, you can get paid uh, from allowing companies to use your name, image, and likeness. So let's say there was a company. Uh, there's a big time art gallery or somewhere around here in, in central Mississippi. And they wanted to attract more people to the gallery. They might say, oh, his name is Picasso Nelson. And, he, you know, he's a big time football player at Jack State. They might pay you $500,000 to do a yeah. commercial for them. Something like that. Wow. Okay. That's how it you is today. Man, I, I, I think I would, because I, I, I had the gift of the gab. I love people. My heart's genuine. And, you know, I was a class clown. So people naturally gravitate to me. I life for the party. But I will say this. I'm glad God didn't give me money when I was young. I was too mm, wild. Mm, I was okay. too wild. Looking back, he 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 gave it to me at the right time because I wasn't ready. Because I, mm. I got an all or nothing personality. So okay. I'm going to do all good. I'm going to do all bad. Either one okay. of them. Okay. I'm going all in. You know what I'm saying? So I'm glad it didn't happen for me because I probably wouldn't be here today. Um, but at this mindset I had now, oh, it'd be unreal. <laughs> because now I believe in delayed gratification. I know how to invest. Uh, mm -hmm. I'm, a, I'm a real estate guy. Mm -hmm. And um, with that, not really making money until I was about 30, 33, I was able to make more because of, 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 of reading Rich Dad, Poor Dad, buying rental houses, flipping them and all that. And um, I don't live a lavish lifestyle. I mean, I'm just a simple man with a simple life, but God had just put an increase in my life. But yeah, I think it'll have been on like chicken bones if I was doing back in that day. <laughs> <laughs> so I, I I don't make no I don't you know these kids getting that money. I'm like young dog, get paid, young brother, get paid. That's what he said. That's what he said. Now get the money. I ain't mad at you. I, I somebody was talking to PPP money and these oh, yeah. people getting their student loans paid off and and the other one getting whatever whatever money they was getting stimulus checks and I didn't get a stimulus but I got some PPP. So mm -hmm. I'm not gonna be caring about who get their student loans paid off. I just, if as long as I get me me, I don't care nothing about what is doing, you know. Right. And um, he's been good to me. So you had an opportunity to play against the legendary Steve McNair, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. yeah. Shout out to all the all corn faithful. You know what I'm talking about. Y'all gonna take this L this year, but I still love y'all. You feel me? I still love y'all. All right. Sure. But you had a chance to play against. The legendary Steve McNair. So I want to know one, what current SWAT quarterback puts you in the mind of facing off against Steve McNair? And what current NFL quarterback kind of makes you think about Steve? Well, one thing I want to say about Steve is Steve was a good dude, man. I mean, he gave you the shirt off his back. I remember when I was in training camp with Steve, uh, it was me and him. Uh, what was this guy's name? He played lineman for them. He was from Alcorn, Mix, Brian Mix. Me, Steve, and Brian Mix, uh, we had practice or whatever. Coach um, had gave us a couple of days off, and uh, we went down to Bennigan's in Houston, right? <laughs> I think we were there for a while, so I was getting ready to pay my tab. Whatever. Steve put out a big old stack like that, man, put your little money. You know what I'm saying? I was like, go ahead, man. <laughs> but I think we ended up had to catch a ride home. We couldn't drive back, you know what I'm saying? So... <laughs> But well, he was really, really quiet. He wasn't just really loud, but he's just a good dude, man. So when that happened to him, I'm like, I can't believe out of all the folks I know, you know, but he's a great guy, man. But I don't know a quarter. I think Casey, what was his name that played White Tiger? Mm -hmm. Man, he was a bad Casey, boy. Ca Casey Terrio. Mm -hmm. Terrio. Terrio was a bad boy, man. He yeah, had shout, that grit. He, he, he was a bad boy. Um, outside of Casey, I haven't seen nobody at that, that you know, 
not I do a lot of tailgating, so I'm not in the game all the time. But yeah, I think Casey, man, he's he's probably the best I've seen since since Steve. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Now Robert Kent about- did the same too, but Casey over different, man. Different. Okay. All right. What about uh in the league currently? Are there any uh quarterbacks that put you in the mind of Steve? Ah, uh, Steve had just that grit, man. Um uh, yeah, one thing surprised tough. me when we was at all corner Jack State, Steve was throwing bullets, and I got to training camp with him. He was throwing, I guess he was playing a lot of baseball. A lot of his pass just going into was dying down. I'm like, man, what's what happened to his arm? You know what I'm saying? But he still mm-hmm. after that, I think he was um him and Peyton Manny probably was MVP, co-MVP. Yeah, they had like to split that. it, yeah. Uh-huh. But he still made it happen, you know. But um current NFL players. Like wow. some some people bring up mobile guys like Lamar Jackson, uh, even though Lamar usually gets compared more so to Vic. Uh, yeah, yeah, that's, yeah. Uh, but Lamar, Dak might come to mind for some people. Uh, Kyler Murray a little different because he's short. He on the small side. Steve was pretty stout, you know. Yeah, uh, but seem like any of the mobile guys that can also throw. You know, guys like Steve McNair get brought up and Michael Vick and guys like that get, get brought up. What about up. Russell Wilson? What about him? Russ. Oh, okay. Okay. Man, I, don't, I, 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 I don't watch a lot of NFL, but I, yeah. I, I watch the playoffs, you know. But I right. Just, yeah. I, I, just, I, I, I can see that. I can, I can see that. I <clears throat> got to keep it 100 on this one now, OG. You got to keep it 100. Okay. I, and both of y'all primes, both of y'all in your prime, okay, who would win in the 40-yard dash, who would win on the bench press, and who would win on the squat rack? Both of y'all in your prime now. You or your son, Picasso Jr.? <laughs> in our prime? In your prime, okay? Mm. So take the humbleness out of it, but just... <laughs> <laughs> Just keep it 100. Just keep it real. He's going to see this, okay? So, yeah, y'all running the 40 in your prime, on the bench press, on the squat rack. Let's start with the 40. On the 40 in our prime, he probably – I saw him run a 4-3 on pro day. Woo! And my fastest time was a 4-4. Both of yeah. y'all rolling, but he got that 4-3? Okay. He did a 4-3-9, a 4-4-1, and a 4-4-9, something like that. Okay. And okay. Um, so 40 probably neck and neck, but the bench and the squat, me. <laughs> <laughs> OG said that's so quick. As far as quickness, he he was way quick, man. That boy can run that little shuttle drill. I mean, and his foot speed was awesome. Mm-hmm. But um, his eyes, man, I wish I knew how to cover like he did in, in college because I didn't learn to the pros. Some guys say, hey, man, watch the hard step and this, this, this. I'm like, oh, whoa. And then it just clicked for me, you know what I'm saying? But I always been aggressive, and 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 when I'm playing a zone, I'm gonna get the pick, you know what I'm saying? And most time they don't want to catch it if I'm close to the area. They get alligator hands, you know. What I'm saying? <laughs> hey, now look, I saw some of your highlights too. Okay, I looked up in, in my prep. I saw that he would knock your head off, America. <laughs> he would knock your head, off. and then he'll pick that thing off and go down in the end zone and throw up that cute, cute dog on you. He he do all you that. About, uh, somebody put it on YouTube. One of my players yeah. at Jones. They put a lot. Yeah, yeah. Jackson yeah. State highlight. I remember that. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. I saw that. I saw that. All <laughs> right. Last one. Last one. Okay. All right. Like I told America, you are also a pastor. Okay. Yes, sir. So we didn't cover all bases. We didn't look from the ball, the business. Now let's go to the church. All right. I have already told America that we're going undefeated this year. Book it. We're going undefeated. That's what I told America. All right. So what scripture would you have the team read to keep them focused, no matter who our opponent is, don't want to play down, don't want to get overconfident, you want to give them a scripture to read to stay focused on the task at hand so we can go undefeated? Probably Matthew 6 and 33, you know, seek first the kingdom of heaven. I really believe that. Or maybe Proverbs 3 and 5 when it says, trust in the Lord all your heart and lean not on your own understanding, right? And in all your ways, acknowledge him. Because sometimes you start scoring touchdown and winning. You start reading your press clippings. 
Oh. And then sometimes when you have a, uh, some, uh, somebody bust a play and they score on you and stuff like that and you don't understand, you don't work on this, you worked on this, and we supposed to be Jackson State, you start exalting yourself. And I understand there are going to be some ups and downs, but, man, if you just continue to just trust in the Lord and you continue to lean down on your understanding, right, and acknowledge him in all your ways, don't be talking about I'm a self-made millionaire. I'm a, I'm the man. I'm the – because you keep reading your clippings and you will be humble, you know. So I would go with Proverbs 3 uh, and 5 and 6 for them because um, the biggest thing with coaching is, Matt, is making sure you have the right chemistry managing all those egos and personalities and all that and and letting them know don't get too high on yourself because some every game somebody gonna be gunning for you so mm-hmm. I, I would definitely tell them that i think they will win all the games i really do and i'm praying that we do but um just keep working hard and keep doing your part and everything will work out that, that's my thing but you cannot justify or say anything about injuries you don't know that you know what mm-hmm. i'm saying so you just mm-hmm. never know but they look good I love the defense, man. I just love how they play very aggressive. Uh, I'm, I'm enjoying the quick passing game. Mm-hmm. I mean, they, they should just dump all year because teams are just – I mean, I, cornerbacks at Vada was sitting 10 yards. I'm like, hey, dingy the whole game. Just throw a little five yards. Mm-hmm. And, you know, somebody going to make a play and make somebody move. So, I haven't seen a defense they're going to step up there and, 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 and max them out, you know. So, if they going to just bag up like that, ding them the whole time <laughs> in this short game. And the quarterback will have a great year. Well, there it is. There it is, Coach Brian. I'll make sure you get that verse and, and do what you need to do. Get it to them boys in the group text. I don't know what you got. Get it to the defensive <laughs> unit. Get it to the offensive unit. Get it to the special team. Let them read that so we can stay focused and yeah. bring home this black national title. But let everybody know what you got going on right now. Anything else you might want to share with the people? Well, if you're in Hattiesburg, come visit South 28 Baptist Church, and um, we have church at 930. And other than that, I would be at each home game, tailgating, going in, watching the game, and and JSU, keep doing what you're doing. Uh, I know when people are doing well, there are always going to be some haters. Stay focused. Uh, Somebody going to be some naysayers. Keep doing what y'all are doing. I'm proud of the team. I'm proud of the direction. I'm proud of the fan support. And um, you take all the positive, and y'all keep doing what you're doing. They're doing great, man. And um, I'm enjoying it. And, um, you know, I'll be there to support you. No doubt. No doubt. Well, Dr. Nelson, we appreciate you for coming on. Again, you have made my brother's day. Uh, And I know Tiger Nation is (laughs) glad to hear from you because they're always happy to hear from any of our legends. So, again, appreciate you, OG. Thank you so much for watching my daddy's YouTube channel. Make sure you like, share, and turn on your post notifications. Okay, how do I do it?